What's going on you guys? I am back at the drag strip. I got a smiley <laughs> supporter here. Uh, like I said, back at the drag strip. This time I have a GoPro mounted inside facing the driver's seat and up top facing forward. I'm gonna give you guys some in-car action today. I'm just getting these on the charger before I get in line. Uh, I do gotta check my tire pressures. It's, it's been so... been really weird it's been raining and then humid and then cool so I don't know if it's gonna run any faster than it did the last time and these tires are getting down there I don't know if you saw one of my last videos they just spin on the street till over a hundred miles an hour so I'm gonna try airing these way down to get traction uh, and we'll just see what happens got about 40 minutes left to get your $1 bush latte and your Saturday all right, guys, I'm pulling up. I'm in the burnout box. I definitely feel rusty. But here goes nothing. I kind of bogged the launch, but for the first pass of the night, I feel damn good about that. That felt, that felt good. I don't know what it was, but I can improve upon the launch yet and just keep knocking this time down. All right, let's see. Thank you. Oh baby. 11.2 at 137 with a 2060 foot. I bring that 60 foot down and I, I guarantee I'll be running my personal best tonight. Uh, the mile an hour is there for sure. 137.45. I don't know if you guys can see this. Right lane there. for a uh, shakedown pass. I'm gonna let the car cool off just a minute and I'm gonna head right back in line and uh, do it all over again. All right, I'm now in a manual transmission class, so the pressure's on. I'm racing against someone else. We'll see how it goes. She did not want to spin the tires. So I'm about to pull back up. I am again racing uh, another car. I'm not just focused on myself, so it's a little bit more intimidating. The car's on, I've got my tracks control off. I should be ready to go. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs>
moving anywhere? Yeah, I snapped an axle. I'm okay. gonna need to get pushed. Okay. I can just go off this way. Yeah, well, that's how you break an axle, guys. Go ahead, get out of the car. Okay. Help us push. Sure. Yep. Well, I finally did a good burnout. I knew that was good. For I was like, reason, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna give her a good burnout for once. Yeah, that was good, dude. I was like, for some reason, I just was like. Well, it's been a couple days since I snapped that axle at the drag strip, but it's given me some time to think and I decided to go all out on the 135. I ordered a ton of parts for it. Uh, I'll go over all these in a bit, but oh, I just dropped a ton of cash on the 135. But first, I'm gonna use my Max Jacks, get her up in the air, show you guys what a broken axle looks like, and then I'll go over the build plans for this car and the content you guys can expect from me. Okay, let's get under the rear of the car here and take a peek at exactly where we went wrong. Um, this is the driver's side axle here, and as you can see, the boot is all scrunched up and it's coming off the shaft itself. It's a big jumbled mess in there. It, it sheared right there, I guarantee it. This is the third axle that I've broken. I've broken both sides already and I just get junkyard axles to replace them but I'm sick of doing that so uh, I'm gonna get a set from the drive shaft shop I've got a pair of DSX axles on the way they should be capable of more power than I'm making on this car and I trust uh, DSS to make a good product so I'm waiting on those to show up that being said I also finally ordered an LSD uh, I ordered a M factory stock gear ratio LSD. I'm excited to finally have power get put down to both wheels all the time. So uh, these are gonna be two big mods in the rear end here. The built axles from DSS and the LSD from M factory. Uh, I also have a ton of other parts going in down here. I'm gonna go over those with you guys in just a minute. Unrelated to suspension, I've got a 1M style bumper ready to rock on this car. I got that from Keys Motorsports. I'll do a separate video on almost all these mods, but I got that bumper and I also have a ton of other suspension parts. So let's start over here. I've got some Ford Star 15 inch wheels. You might be wondering how the heck are you gonna fit 15 inch wheels? Well, I went ahead and got some calipers, rotors, the whole nine yards, everything I'll need to do a 15 inch brake conversion on this. I'll do a separate video, like I said, on this. That way you guys know what you'll have to do to convert a 335 or 135 to fit a 15 inch wheel. Since I'm a 135 and you guys might know, I've got weird offsets in the back. Every 135, you know, we're really limited on wheel choices because of the narrow rear fenders. So I've got a pair of 335 hubs here. I'm gonna do a three series hub swap. So uh, at the same time that I do the 15 inch conversion, I'll be able to pick from a wider set of wheels. So I got the hubs, the wheel bearings, um, everything I need for that. So the axle nuts and all that. But I also have a ton of upgraded suspension parts here. Start from right to left. I've got ECS tuning, real rear trailing arms. These are really lightweight. I was so surprised at how light these were when I opened the box. I actually have a damaged uh, rear trailing arm. I don't know if you can see here, it's creased. This thing is completely bent uh, in the middle here and it just needs to be replaced. So I figured might as well get some upgraded trailing arms. So I got those ECS units and it comes with all the hardware we need. And then I also got a BMS rear diff brace. This should help lock down that diff in place and prevent wheel hop. So this basically goes, let's see if we can see this here. This will mount just like that to the rear subframe and to the diff. Um, I'm gonna install that at the same time as all these other mods and all these other mods include 
front M3 control arms, rear M3 control arms, wishbones, tie rods, all upgraded bushings from Bimmer World. I got all this stuff from Bimmer World. I would highly recommend them. They hooked it up. I've got poly black power flex diff bushings. This will keep the diff nice and tight back there. One thing I'm really excited about is these solid aluminum subframe mounts. Again, these are Bimmer World's branded subframe mounts. Apparently these make a huge difference just going to solid in the rear. The new F80s and all that, they don't even have bushings back there. So uh, I'm excited to try that out. I also have their adjustable rear toe arms. That way I can manually set toe. And I hear that these are another great mod for stability when it comes to the rear wheel of these cars. Got a bunch of upgraded bearings. So this is a front M3 control arm bearings. They'll replace these factory bearings. These Bimmer World units apparently are really nice. It allows for precision handling. I'm excited to try those out. Rear camber arm bearings, real tra rear trailing arm bearings. Man, I'm stumbling over my words because I got so many words here. And the best of all, they hooked it up with some gummy bears. I love snacks. Um, so, like I said, a bunch of overhauled parts here for the rear and some for the front too. I've got the rear shock mounts and some other bushings. Every piece under the rear of the car is going to be replaced. I'm super stoked on that because I've got 125,000 miles on everything underneath my car and it's just worn out. So, I'm going to be replacing all these rods, all the bearings inside of here, the bushings, uh, the subframe mounts up there, everything is going to be gone over. Um, and that coupled with the, the diff and the axles, I think this thing's just going to be an animal. It's going to feel great. It's going to handle great. It's going to be strong. I just cannot wait to do all this. So that being said, I also have index 12 injectors for the 335 because those started leaking on me. And you guys are probably wondering at this point, man, this seems like a lot of money. Well, let me tell you. It is a lot of money, and I did not want to spend it, and it sucks, but I'm biting the bullet, and I'm doing this car right. I got a ton of other stuff that still hasn't showed up. I can't wait for the diff in the axles. Those would be awesome to have in the garage. But I also ordered a carbon fiber trunk, a carbon fiber hood, some carbon fiber door panels, and a lightweight battery, 17 pound unit to replace the big stock mammoth battery. So I'm planning to take about two to three maybe even 400 pounds out of this thing. Um, I also have a NRW carbon fiber sunroof panel on the way. He's making that for me. They're launching soon. This thing's just going to be a dedicated go fast car. Still going to drive it on the street because I love this thing, but I plan on removing basically all the interior except for the amenities like radio, power steering, air conditioning. I'm not going to go that crazy. But I am going to take as much weight out of it as I can. I figure I might as well. The only purpose of this car at this point is just to go fast. So might as well make it go extra fast. Um, but with that being said, you guys can expect a ton of content coming. I haven't done an overhaul on a car like this in a really long time. And I'm really excited for it because I'm kind of just falling back in love with this thing. I've owned it for five years and it's gone through many different phases. But I think this is going to be one of the most fun phases yet. I'm really excited for it. Um, sometimes I get bored with vehicles and I was, you know, I was having a lot of fun going fast in this thing, but this is all the parts it really needs. Here's the slip for uh, the one run I made before I broke my axle. You can see on the left here, I ran a 11.2 at 137.4 and that's with the 2060 foot. So. The thing was ready to rock. It was on a mission there. It's a high mile an hour. It's a decent ET considering uh, just that 60 foot needs work and all these parts are going to help me with that 60 foot. Um, I'm just I'm just so excited for it. And uh, like I said, the new front bumper, the new exterior body parts. I even have a buddy of mine sending me some headlights that are modified. So I'm going to test fit those on my car, see if I like them. We might do a swap, trade my stock for his modified ones. This car is just going to be a completely different machine and I have no fly zone coming up. I'm registered for no fly zone Midwest 
September 20th, 21st, 22nd, that weekend. So uh, I'm going to beat up on some cars out there. I'm hoping, ideally, I'd like to get a cage because this thing's going to be quick. And the half mile, you know, you're really getting up to some speed. So I could be getting a cage as well. I'm basically depleting my life savings on this car. Um, but thankfully, I've got a lot of cool companies that I've been working with. I've got a lot of awesome vendors on this platform. And I've got you guys. You guys keep promoting and, you know, pushing me to go even faster and even better. And I love making content for you guys. So that being said, I know I've been rambling. Sometimes I get rambling when I'm comfortable and excited and whatnot. But be sure to subscribe. Um, obviously, I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of parts to install, and you guys are all going to see it first. So give me a thumbs up if you're excited for this build. Share the channel, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.